Okay, this might sound like a completely crazy idea, but just for the sake of argument, can we build artificial trees to stop climate change? My name is Fede and this is Eternally Curious. In the previous episode, we looked at trees as a possible way to slow down or avert climate change. And it turns out that uh, trees are not enough. We are emitting too much CO2 too fast. And even if we planted trees like crazy, hundreds of billions of them, there is just not enough land on Earth and not enough time. But what if we could accelerate the process? Research pioneer that Columbia University claims that we could grow artificial trees that can suck CO2 1000 times faster than normal trees. The green plastic watering. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not what Tom York meant when he wrote it. Let's see how this tech works. First of all, these trees don't look like trees much. Their leaves are more like sheets of plasticky paper, which are tightly packed and configured in a honeycomb formation, coated in a resin that contains sodium carbonate. Okay, sounds confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. The tree pulls CO2 from the air thanks to the resin in the leaves. Then the leaves have to be rinsed in water vapor. Sodium bicarbonate, which is commonly known as baking soda, goes out. And the cycle can start again. Like washing your hair. Then of course we have to bury it underground. The whole point of it is to not release it back into the atmosphere. So unless we store it underground, it's just gonna find its way back. Physicist Klaus Lackner calculates that this honeycomb plastic tree can remove one ton of carbon dioxide per day. If we had 100 million of these trees, we could remove 36 billion tons of CO2 a year, which is our global annual carbon dioxide emission. All right, 100 million of these babies around the planet, uh, how feasible is that? The cost for one of these trees is about $20,000, which is more or less what a car costs. And every year, the world produces about 60 million new vehicles. So it's not entirely inconceivable. But the incentive to buy a car is pretty clear for everyone. We need them to move around, to transport food, we go on vacation. Everyone knows kind of intuitively what the car is for and they're willing to pay money for it. People want and need cars. Fake plastic trees would be there just to offset the emissions that we're actually making with the cars and other stuff that we buy. So while artificial trees may be something that we need, it's not something that we want or that we're willing to pay for. In this world, unfortunately, if something is not economically viable or even profitable, it's very unlikely to get adopted and to become widespread. Even if it's something good or necessary, the American Physical Society's most optimistic calculation for storing one ton of carbon dioxide this way is $600 per ton which is way more than any proposed carbon tax. Unless we can drag the cost down substantially or we can find some other way, we are not gonna fix climate change. And that's exactly what we are going to look at in the next videos. So if you don't wanna miss it, subscribe to this channel right now and join me on Konos, where I'm exploring climate change, how to fix it and a lot more stuff. Speaking of cool stuff. Hey Peter. What? Did you know that our layer of the atmosphere is only 10 kilometers tall, but the atmosphere itself stretches to almost 800 kilometers above the Earth's surface? Fascinating. Oh, sorry, this is my friend Simon. He's a PhD researcher at the University of Exeter in climate science, and he has a crash course on atmospheric physics. He's been fact-checking some of my videos on climate change, so if you want to know more about the science, you should check him out. Thanks, Peter. I look forward to seeing you all there. All the videos I create are completely free to watch. But if you donate, you'll get exclusive private access to my videos before they go live and other cool rewards, including digital downloads to all of my stuff or even seeing your name on screen as a producer to my next video. Or you can just feel good about supporting scientific inquiry and free education. Whichever works for you. Thank you for being curious.